plastics welcome back and today we have an unboxing video for you um something came into the mail today and uh, we just can't wait to show you yes so i already took her out of her like packaging box like the postage box but with a little insert box here so it's actually um one of the lol surprise um, special edition omg fierce dolls yeah Ugh. Alright. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Ay -ay -ay. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hello, Miss Thang. Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Cleo. This is Cleopatra. Um, oh my god, fierce doll. You know what? She, um, we were not sort of interested in the dolls, right? But yeah. she piqued our interest. Mm. Like, we saw her at the store and I was like, what? Like, what is she? Like, mm. Cleo! <laughs> we, <laughs> we had to have her. I must say, I think we gave the LOL Surprise OMG dolls a bit of shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like we kind of made fun of their goofy faces, but the more I look at them, I, I love them. Like, yeah. they're kind of sassy, you know? Like, so I'm excited to go on this uh, little doll adventure. We have a few starting our collection. So it's our smallest collection, I think, but... Get it's it. a very exciting collection. Yeah. So as you can see, she comes in this really beautiful box, um, which has also made us question if we're going to unbox it. But we are, because um, I really want to get my hands on her. Um, let me know if you have this doll. Do you, did you unbox her or are you just displaying her in this box? So it looks like it's connected with this little velcro strap. Do you want to do the honors? Oh, shall. Unvelcroing her. Oh! Oh! So I can't just... see. I just can't see the front. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but like the back is even. <laughs> um, we'll show you guys the back in a second. Uh, obviously, this is a 2022 doll um, by the looks of it. So turn her around and wow! Oh, oh my gosh! OMG. She is pretty. Um, so as you can see, it's got her face on the back and it talks about uh, what year the collection was and everything. And yeah, so I don't even know where we would begin to unbox this. Let's have a little look because I don't want to ruin it. So like, I you... just want to keep her in the box. Yeah. But like we, we, we want to take her out. Oh no, hang on. I think we just... You know, okay. Whoa. No, okay. So that stays as is. Okay. I'll put this away. Here we go. Wow, she's so cool. And look at her look stand at her too. Down. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. Her. her accessories, her hair. I mean we need to fix her hair a little bit, but <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. She's so cool. I'm already obsessed. So nice. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we just unbox her from here. We'll get her out of the box and then we'll uh, continue with the review after we get her out. We are Cleo. <laughs> oh no, Cleo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even realize this cake here. Yeah, oh my god. I mean, MGA, just great quality. Oh no. I'm gonna oh break no. your box. I wanna break your box, Cleo. Oh no, your box is gone, Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is kind of difficult. Oh my god, technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, so we got her out of her box. She's a bit wobbly on this stand. I don't know if we've got her standing right. But we'll just turn her around so you can see her. Oh, hello, queen. Um, now, she had this cape, but in the box, it's like sort of just like attached behind her. Like, it's not actually on her. So I'm not sure how we attach this back to her, if it goes around her head or what. I think we're going to have to work that out. 
or which way it goes but oh my god it's so nice i love the detailing on it you can see here like all the different like embroidery as well like it's actually embroidered on like all the different um um like artworks yeah and, uh, like well not hieroglyphs because i guess the hieroglyphs aren't embroidered but like yeah the little situation <laughs> <laughs> showing the whole egyptian culture yeah uh, um, civilization but yeah so her headpiece is so cute um her hair's a bit wild i don't know we, if it's we just definitely like, need to fix i don't know hair. if it's just like how she was packaged or what i'm not too sure but you can see she's really mm -hmm. wobbly on this stand but oh my god i love her hands mm -hmm. like she doesn't really have like i mean she's got good like wrist articulation and like elbow but i think this like that having her pose like kind of how they had in the box is kind of nice already because it shows off the draping of her dress here her little cape moment yeah um but yeah yeah like when we get uh dolls i i like to feel the plastic you know and and so far the plastic on her is really like premium like, you know? like it does a very sturdy um, like her hands are so soft um yeah her stand is a bit wobbly but um we surely can fix that but i don't know if we're just like not standing her right either but um we'll have to figure that out but oh my god her shoes are so nice just the little details on like everything. if you can have a look up hold her up you can see her shoes are just really pretty really nice see the shoes there and like even like just all the little details on her like her waist belt is so nice she got sparkles in her yeah. makeup i feel like um she's definitely like they've they've hit the egyptian cleopatra brief very well um I really like her. I'd love to see Cleo Denial in something like this, but maybe a bit more darker. Yeah. Like, not as bright, but like... I know Gen 3, Cleo is quite bright, so she's kind of this colour palette, so I guess she could wear this. Um, but I don't know, like a combination of the Gen 3 and Gen 1 Cleo. You know, yeah. Maybe some more mummy wrapping. Yeah. But like, this kind of thing I would love to see on... Our other Cleo. Yeah. Cleo. <laughs> Cleo denied. Cleo come through. <laughs> <laughs> but so far, this low surprise fears Cleopatra. Um, she's so cute. She's so pretty. She's giving her yeah. fashion. Her makeup is really yeah. good too. Um, I like her makeup. Her earrings are really nice. Um, the headpiece is great. But yeah, I think the hair needs a bit of work. But I mean, MGA usually do quite good with like a brief, I feel. Like mm -hmm. in terms of like the overall design is usually executed really well. Um, so I do like that. Um, and the shoes, the, sh the snake detail on the shoes. I'm assuming that's a snake. Mm -hmm. Like it's like looking like a snake or something. But it's a, oh, maybe not a snake, but kind of like the shape of a snake. Yeah. Um, and it's got like the little gemstones everywhere and yeah, she's so nice. And yeah. her skirt underneath is actually really cool too. Mm. I love how her jewellery is uh, actual chains, you know, like yeah. it's not, they're not plastic. Oh, I didn't see, I didn't even realise. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Or oh, even on her waist here. Wow, that's a good little detail. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess because, well, in Australia, the doll is retailed for $200, right? So, um, But we did not pay that much. We yeah. paid half price. <laughs> yeah, half price. <laughs> so I'm thinking of getting another doll just to have her in the box. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the box is so nice. Yeah. Um, but oh my god, unpackaging her was a little bit of a nightmare. It's a bit crazy. She's she's definitely on par with uh, the mermaids mermaids in terms of unboxing. <laughs> and that's another video. Um, <laughs> but honestly, like yeah, her color palette's really great. Uh, I love this doll. She's mm. really cute. Yeah. Um, let me know. Let us know in the comments. You know, did you guys get this doll, or are you wanting this doll? Obviously, she's been out for a while now. She was the 2022 release. Um, so, yeah, let us know. Do, do you like her? What do you think of her? 
Um, what's your rating on her, Stefan? Like, what do you think? I would say, um... Let's start with, like, maybe let's uh, break it down and do... Let's break it down, yeah. Uh, start with her hair. Yeah. I mean, her hair needs some work, but I think we can... It's an easy fix, I reckon, you know, so with some... But she got tin suits in her hair, you know, we take them off, you know, we, we, we yeah. have really comb dolls with tin yeah, suits. Yeah, right? I think we have to be careful with that. But she... Yeah, there's a bit of product in her hair, yeah. but I like the little braids across it. Mm -hmm. um, the colour is really nice. Um, I'd probably give the hair, like... Maybe a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I would give a 6. I'm not sure it's because of the packaging, you know, like her hair is a bit messy everywhere. And apparently, like here, there's so many loose hairs coming out at the front, you know. Um, yeah, but a 6. I, I do like the color. I like do like the tinsels in her yeah. hair. And let's do makeup. Makeup. Mmm. I go first. I would give her makeup a 9. Oh. Yeah, she, she got pink lips with li red lining she got green eyes her she got sparkles in her eyeliner her, her brows are so amazing um yeah a nine for me i'm gonna give her i think i'm just gonna look at her a bit closer i think i'm gonna go an eight because i like the style i like the colors um but she's got a bit of missing blue on her right, eyeshadow yeah. lid here on this eye here at the top in the corner you can see mm -hmm. and if you can guys can see that i'll try and get a close-up shot of that for you guys mm -hmm. but in the top corner here she's got a bit of in the middle of her lid a bit of missing um glue which i mean look it's a small detail but um i just think it but we look at everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if you other doll collectors out there watching this video, you you know you know the guy, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that just knocks it down to an eight for me. Yeah. Uh, but I also want to ask you guys if the MGA dolls are hand painted in terms of makeup and everything, or um, it, it's it's printed on. You know. Because... I think it's hand painted. Yeah. I think it might be. I'm not sure. Maybe machine painted. It's definitely painted on. Yeah. It's not printed. Like the Mattel ones, definitely like the Barbies and, you know, even the live action aerial dolls there. You can see the pixelation and it's definitely printed on. But yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like this is painted. Whether it's hand painted or painted by a machine, it definitely looks painted to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you do know that, educate us in the comments and let us know. Um... Okay, next category is the gown, the fashion. So, <laughs> what, what do you, what, do, what is your overall rating? Are we including like clothing, accessories, everything? Clothing, accessories, okay. the whole vibe. Yeah. Let me feel this, this, this dress of hers. Mm. It feels. It I feels think it's soft. like a sh sh chiffon. Chiffon, yeah. 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 Fabric. Yeah. With like a, the metallic sort of elastic detailing. Yeah. Glittery metallic. On the head. Yeah. Like it feels like, again, you know, it feels like a, an actual gown. Yeah. You know, like the the Rainbow High Girl. I mean, in real life, maybe a bit costumey, but yeah. you know, like, still very good detail yeah. on a doll too. Yeah. yeah. So what's your rating? Mm. My rating on the fashion would be... Eight or nine. I would say nine. Wow. I do like it. Why not ten? Uh, well, something something is holding me back, I, I reckon. Maybe maybe without the cape. Yeah. Um, you know, and... Uh, I'm actually going to give a ten out of ten. A ten out of ten. Yeah. Right. I think I love the chain details. I think, you know... Um, having like the like you commented earlier with her jewelry having all the like chains and her waist belt having like actual chains here like no shade to our monster high girls in Mattel maybe a little shade but um the chains are always like plastic like they're never actual chains you know like Claudine's chains or you know like they're plastic and while I can appreciate the art style it's you can't deny that seeing a chain like this on it is is much more appealing. Um, so I think that definitely gives it a lot of points for me. 
I love the colour palette, like I feel like everything goes really well together. I don't think anything looks out of place on this doll. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, I wish I knew, but this is probably a me problem, like how to attach this cape. <laughs> We've got to figure that out. Um, but when we yeah. figure that out, I think like, cause the cape itself is really nice. Like it's very thick. It's like this almost like a, like a vinyl, yeah, like a pleather, like metallic -y sort of thing. I don't know. It's like kind of like a matte sort of texture where the blue teal color is. Mm. Um, and then it's like this really nice shiny gold uh, fabric, but it just feels so, like, it's got a lot of weight to it. And I, I really, I, I like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, yeah, all the details, like the plastic feels really sturdy. And like, I think the brief is just done really well with all her little hair accessories and her headpiece here is stunning. Like I love this emerald green on the wings here. Like that emerald green is so nice. It's so pretty. So I, I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10 for hitting the brief for mm. our Cleopatra fierce OMG queen. Fierce. Yeah. <laughs> what about the, the doll itself? You know, like the overall doll. I think 10 out of 10. 10 I don't out really, of 10. Even, even, if the, even if the hair is a bit wonky. Yeah. A bit like... Wah, wah, um, I still think it's... It's... It's a definitely a very good doll. Mm. You know, it's it's maybe not worth two hundred dollars in my opinion. Hence why we got it on sale. Yeah. Um, because I do think two hundred dollars is quite steep for a doll like this. I mean, maybe some people can see the value who have been OMG doll collectors from the start. I don't know, but like, I mean, maybe if there was a certain Monster High doll at this price point, I mean, with their rod, we would get them. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. So maybe when I come to love the the series more, mm -hmm. maybe I can see the value in two hundred dollars. But to be honest, I think, I think she's better to get at a at a cheaper price point. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, yeah, ten out of ten for me. What yeah. about you? I mean, for price point, right? If she was ninety nine dollars, like um, like we got her, I would give her a ten out of ten. You know, great for value. Yeah, you know, doll is so beautiful. But for two hundred dollars, I give her a nine. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Valid. Everything is beautiful, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Just price point. Well, I think that ends the video here. We've got all of our little ratings for Miss Cleopatra here. Oh, well, you know, we will uh, post her um, better and, you know, like manage to get the cape on her. You know, we yeah. show you uh, the final work, you know, yeah. with her on the shelf. Yes. With the other dolls. Add her into our collection. Get her situated with all her sisters. Yes. Um, and yeah, but if you enjoyed this video, uh, firstly, thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, we do do... Uh, videos on dolls, uh, unboxing, reviews, doll hunts, um, many, many more to come. We cover Monster High, uh, OMG, um, Rainbow Shadow High, Rainbow High, Shadow High. Um, the, the list goes on at the moment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy that sort of content, then yeah, please subscribe, like the video, share the video with the other doll fans out there. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. See you, Plastics. Lots Bye. of love. Bye.